guys. I just wanted to show you some of Stella's progress around the house. We're just working on a couple simple things. Getting her to come when I call her. Well, call her. When I give her the hand signal to come to me. To go to a place like the mat that we have here or the top that we have here. Um, to stay there or stop if she decides to get off of it. Sit and down. So she only knows about five hand signals, but we can use them to get her to do just about anything. So I'll show you guys if you can see from this side. You might not be able to see when I move into the, um, onto the tile floor. I'll show you guys the hand signals and her response to them. She's doing really good at understanding what everything means. So I'm going to run her through a couple of simple things and show you guys how she's doing. So she's in place right now. I'm going to call her in this direction. And for her recall, I'm putting my hand straight up in the air. So it's very defined hand gesture, and it can't be really mixed up with anything else. When she's coming towards me, I'm going to tell her to go to the placemat, sit, and to down. So generally when I do down, it's a flat palm all the way towards the ground, but I had a couple pieces of kibble in my hand, so it was just a little point. And then she's starting to learn that she has to stay there until I give her another hand signal, which is going to be huge for when she goes home. So she's not running around all over the place and getting underfoot or getting into stuff. So then I'll call her over into this direction and ask her to go to place. So she's a little confused there. She says, do you want me to lie down? And I'll just continue holding pressure with the remote collar. Nice job until she figures out that right here isn't the right spot, over there is. I'll give her a down. So she's really getting good at trying to figure out what I want her to do, rather than just, hey, what's over here, what's over there, and doing her own thing. So shorter distances, I'll do a kind of let's go type of hand gesture, where I just wiggle my fingers and my hand out in front of me. So it invites her to come towards me. So I'll show you guys that. So that's a little bit easier just for a short distance for her. And a down. And I'll do that one one more time. So invite her over this direction and then ask her to go to the mat and to down. And I'm using her kibble as a reward for, because this is only her fourth day, to let her know she's doing the right thing because she can't hear us. So I want to make sure that she understands that yeah, that was the right thing to do. That was really good. And you're going to get something nice for us. We'll walk over top of her. Different stuff like that. We'll leave her there. Pepper. Pepper. Hey, wake up. Move him over here. So a little bit more distracting for her. But she's really doing good. Even though she loves the other dogs and she loves to play, she's really doing good at focusing on me and not paying attention to them. Very nice. Pepper, go. Pepper down. No, pepper. Off. Down. Pepper. We'll see if we can call her past Pepper and put her into place. Big distraction for her because she loves the other dogs. But she did awesome. And that was a really good job. She's So this is you know, me interrupting her. I use the remote there because there's no way I can tell her, no, stop it. So I use the remote and I give her kind of a stop, cease and desist type of hand signal. And she's really starting to pick that up too. So we can stop naughty behaviors. So that is Stella's progress and she is doing awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed her little demonstration.